Number 10. The Riddler, one of Batman's iconic villains, made his first appearance in Detective Comics issue 140, which was published in October 1948. He was created by writer Bill Finger and artist Dick Sprang. The Riddler's first appearance in the Silver Age of Comics was in Batman issue 171, published in May 1965. This marked the character's reintroduction after a period of absence from Batman comics during the early 1960s. Number 9. The Riddler's admiration for Harry Houdini, the famous escape artist and magician, is a significant aspect of his character. He often incorporates elements of puzzles, riddles, and traps into his crimes as a way to challenge Batman's intellect, much like Houdini's feats challenge the limitations of escape. Number 8. The idea of Batman inadvertently creating his own enemies is a recurring theme in many interpretations of the character's mythos. Edward Nashton's transformation into the Riddler is often portrayed as a consequence of his encounters with Batman, whose presence in Gotham City inspires criminals to adopt costumed personas and challenge his authority. As an accountant, Nashton may have felt overlooked or undervalued in society, leading to feelings of resentment and frustration. When he sees Batman, a figure who operates outside the law but commands respect and fear, Nashton may be inspired to follow a similar path in his quest for recognition and power. Becoming the Riddler allows Nashton to express his intellect and creativity in ways that were previously denied to him. By creating elaborate puzzles and challenges for Batman to solve, the Riddler seeks to prove his superiority and gain the attention and admiration he craves. Number 7 there have been instances in comic book storylines where the Riddler has allied himself with Batman or temporarily turned away from a life of crime. These moments often occur when the character experiences personal growth or faces circumstances that challenge his worldview. For example, in the Hush storyline by Jeff Loeb and Jim Lee, the Riddler briefly aids Batman in solving a mystery involving the villain Hush, albeit with his own ulterior motives. In other stories, the Riddler has been portrayed as seeking redemption or struggling with his criminal identity, leading to periods where he aligns himself with the side of good. However, such instances are usually temporary, and the Riddler typically returns to his villainous ways in the long run. His complex relationship with Batman and his own ego-driven motivations often lead him back to a life of crime, where he can continue to challenge the Dark Knight with his cunning puzzles and schemes. Number 6. The portrayal of the Riddler by actor Frank Gorshin in the 1960s Batman television series contributed significantly to the character's popularity. Gorshin's energetic and eccentric performance as the Riddler, with his distinctive laugh and mannerisms, made a lasting impression on audiences. The colorful and campy nature of the TV series, along with Gorshin's charismatic portrayal, helped cement the Riddler as one of Batman's most iconic adversaries in popular culture. The character's penchant for leaving riddles and puzzles as clues to his crimes became a signature trait associated with him, further enhancing his appeal to audiences. Since then, the Riddler has remained a prominent villain in Batman comics, movies, and other media adaptations, thanks in part to the enduring popularity of the 1960s TV series and Gorshin's memorable portrayal. Number 5 in various depictions across different Batman comics and media adaptations, the character of the Riddler has been portrayed as having a complex personality, often exhibiting traits that could be indicative of different psychological disorders. Some interpretations suggest that the Riddler suffers from various personality disorders, including obsessive-compulsive disorder, OCD, and narcissistic personality disorder, NPD. Obsessive-compulsive disorder, OCD, is characterized by recurring thoughts, obsessions, and repetitive behaviors, compulsions. The Riddler's obsession with leaving riddles and puzzles as clues to his crimes, as well as his compulsive need for attention and validation through his intellectual superiority, could be seen as consistent with some aspects of OCD. Narcissistic Personality Disorder, NPD, involves a pattern of grandiosity, a need for admiration, and a lack of empathy for others. The Riddler's egotistical nature, his belief in his own intellectual superiority, and his desire to outweep Batman and prove his intellectual dominance over others align with characteristics commonly associated with narcissism. Number 4. 
In some storylines and adaptations, the Riddler has been depicted with female accomplices or partners in crime. One notable example is Query and Echo. Query is a skilled computer hacker and Echo is a martial artist, and together they assist the Riddler in his schemes. I hope you're enjoying this video. Before we get to the top three, please could you take a moment to like and subscribe to my channel as it would be a great help. Number three. The Riddler is known for using a variety of gadgets and tools to aid him in his schemes and challenges. Some of his equipment includes question mark cane, a cane adorned with a question mark, which the Riddler often carries as a signature accessory. Riddle-based traps. The Riddler frequently sets up elaborate traps and puzzles for his enemies, often involving wordplay, logic puzzles, or riddles. Riddler's Lair The Riddler often operates from a secret hideout or lair filled with gadgets, computers, and other equipment to aid in his schemes. Mind Control Devices On occasion, the Riddler has used devices capable of controlling the minds of others, allowing him to manipulate his enemies or victims. Gadgets and Technology Depending on the story and iteration, the Riddler may employ various gadgets, weapons, and technology to further his goals, often incorporating his signature question mark motif. Number 2 After leaving education to focus on his newfound obsession with puzzles, Edward Nigma established a crooked puzzle booth at a carnival. He had devised an unbeatable puzzle which competitors could pay a small fee to try to win. As the customers would inevitably fail, he never had to pay out any prize money, but it did not satisfy the up-and-coming villain. Growing frustrated with using his intellect for trivial purposes, the Riddler closed his cryptic carnival attraction and turned to a life of crime in order to make his money. Obviously, the carnival was a waste of his precious talents, as he went from making menial money to stealing masterminding massive heists extremely quickly. Number 1 in some iterations of the Batman comics, the Riddler has a daughter named Enigma. She is introduced as a relatively recent addition to his backstory. Enigma shares her father's intelligence and affinity for riddles, but her relationship with him is often strained due to his criminal activities and her own desire to distance herself from his legacy. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something from the video and we'll see you on the next one.